lucky, dude. Three of them, dude. Oh my god. Why do you guys gotta team up against these yeah, people? Fuck me. Yeah, they're still getting killed. These two people. Get cooked, my guy. With no recipe. Go. That one over here. Get off me. We cooking and occupy. They're like low and then they triple team, bro. That's crazy. You're not a shaker, boy. Oh my god, get cooked. It's crazy how many people are out here. Oh, there's one. Oh, give him my RPM. Give him my RPM. Give him my RPM. Oh, I got him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Get cooked. Bro, I got my RPM. And I melted two of them. You better not. You better just keep running. I'm dead. I'm just going to give up. Man. That's crazy. Yeah, I gotta update this build now. Now I got the P90. I have to update it. Oh my it. god. Guess what, Dan? You gotta pay, you gotta pay attention, dude. Oh, I'm gonna clap both of them. Oh, sh Fucking NPCs, dude. One, freaking Dan, Give me you. a pussy. You keep going up from behind, dude. I'm gonna. Smoke's down, right side. We're pushing up right, pushing up behind, pushing up behind the clap. shield. Yeah. I am, clap. Damn, dude, you shut up. Get your shield out of here. I'll get a better shield. Oh, like, that shit just becomes crazy. Just and then I get the, I, my freaking mag reloads itself after I hit my armor goes down. Crap. Get off me. Oh, we got NPCs right now. Back up as soon as What is up, it's Squad? It's your boy just saying me and welcome back to another Division 2 build video. Today we're gonna be talking about my AR build that I've been kind of playing around with um, in PvP and in Occupied Dark Zone that I found has been really, really effective. Now, before I get into it, um, it works best with the survivalist class. Obviously, you don't have to use it because there's other benefits you can make with other ones. But being that I am a survivalist, um, obviously, it gives me a nice buff with AR damage. So without further ado, let's get into it. So obviously, um, I'm going to be using an AR. And the one that I'm using is called the ACRE. Uh, the best thing about it is I just love the fact that it's super stable um, any AR whatever your preference is There's a lot of there's probably even better ARs than this one, but I don't have that much So if you have a better AR, this is even better for you But make sure if you do have AR make sure it has the talent strained on it Which is 10% critical hit damage is gained for every 5% of your armor that's depleted if you play division one It's basically like unforgiving but as far as crit damage So you want to make sure you have that I have Allegro on mine and I have overlap which basically gives you a handling bonus. So um, this is this is as god roll as I will get besides probably having extra instead of rate of fire. So make sure you have an AR that's going to have that uh, and you're going to do wonders even even without the rest of the builds I'm about to tell you. So um, going into the build, I am rocking a DH mask, which gives me accuracy, creative chance, health, and armor regeneration, obviously for PvP situation. On my chest, I have assault rifle damage with the harness armor. You're going to need the furnace group uh, brand set in order to get this. You want to have this as a raw 10% on ARs. Um, I have crit chance health and skill power, but the best part about it that makes it super strong is this talent called berserk I'm pretty sure if, if you've been looking for DPS builds This is like the go-to one-two punch combo right now. It's strained and berserk berserk right here You can see 10% weapon damage for every 10% of max armor is depleted So basically you can get upwards to almost 90% weapon damage, man. It's it's insane. It's ridiculous. So 
make sure that you do have this if you want to have a full DPS build to win those face tank um, situations. As you can see, the requirement, you can put all um, offense mods or anything you want into it, um, depending on whatever mod you have, because it only requires a shotgun, SMG, or assault rifle. So um, you can't do this with rifles, you can't do this with marksman rifles, and you can't do it with pistols. So um, if you have SMG, assault rifle, or shotgun, you can pretty much unlock this talent. But for this sake of this video, it's going to be for the assault rifle version. And hardened. 10% um, armor, one of the best talents in the game because it doesn't get destroyed by normalization. So just put that out there. Um, and you can mod it however you want, depending on your mods. Like, I can't really you know, show you mine because I don't have um, the optimal mods I want to put into it yet. This is just the baseline build. Um, I'm also rocking three pieces of Wyvern wear. You can see right here the holster, the backpack, and knee pads on my holster. I have crit hit damage and hazard protection. I'm probably going to end up changing hazard protection to something else. Um, on here, I have damage to elites. Um, and on my knee pads, I have skill power. So... Um, depending obviously when people start minimaxing you can go straight for raw damage things um, I don't have it because my, my roll suck and I don't want to waste too much resources right now before world tier 5 But as you can see even as is right now It is going to melt things and my glove for accuracy obviously um, to make my shots line a little bit better since the gun is stable by itself um, I don't really have to worry about stability But accuracy is important because you want your bullets to land where you're aiming so make sure that you have somewhat Somewhere you have some accuracy. I don't know if you can get assault rifle on the attribute. I have no, I have no gloves that have that. Um, so if I end up finding one, obviously that's what I'll reroll. And I have critical on the gloves, which is eight percent critical hit damage, which is pretty lit too for raw damage. Now, um, for secondary, a lot of people have their different preferences. If I really, really wanted to optimize this build. Um, I'm trying to get the chatterbox SMG, which basically gives me rate of fire on reload on my main weapon. That'll be the ideal thing for this build to just put as much rate of fire in because then obviously you put out more bullets, more DPS. But um, I've grown to start liking handling. So um, I have overlap, wall holster, your equipped weapon gains a handling bonus based on the, this weapon's type. So um, I can kind of get like a nice little handling bonus that's going to help me out. I'm uh, pretty sure um, that it's different depending on each weapon. I haven't fully tested them out. But um, it feels good to have super, super stable um, assault rifle. So going into the gear talents, you can see I have hard-hitting, efficient, berserk, hardened, self-adjusting, critical, um, cloaked, and insulated. Um, insulated, wow. Uh, the cool thing about cloaked, a lot of people don't even, don't even know. Um, when your armor is depleted, nearby enemy skills are disrupted for 10 seconds. So what's cool is, like, let's say somebody pushes you with a defender drone and they knock you, um, knock out your... Uh, armor and you're in a situation where if they have their defender drone you're gonna die or if they don't this is really good because it basically EMPs their skills and you can just go crazy which means you're, you're stopping their skills especially if they have chem launcher or a defender drone or something of that matter or, or even a seeker if a seeker is coming after you and you're low health and you can kind of like get a little mini EMP which is extremely good in those stress situations weapon talents I have strain allegro overlap ignited jazz hands overlap liberty blind justice independence explosive bolts obviously that's just from um, my pistol so i have uh as you can see i have 13,000 weapon damage 29 percent critical hit chance 66 percent critical hit damage 55 percent headshot damage um you can see the range or reload time um i have 25 percent raw assault rifle damage bonus which is really 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 good um especially because i'm rocking um survivalist 155 armor 45k health so i'm it's not like i'm squishy by any means as far as squishy can be we're all squishy, but you know, to that degree. Um, skill power is at 3190. So um, when when they do fix the some of the requirements, I'll be able to use a lot of the uh, the skills because it's it's reasonable. You know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys, for the build itself. Um, a, a lot of people wanted to know like what is the best version of a DPS build. Um, it's preference. It's just right now, guaranteed, hands down, no question. If you're running a DPS, a fully optimized DPS build, it's going to have strained as the weapon talent and it's going to have berserk on the chest there is nothing in the game that even comes close um as far as raw damage yes it's a little dangerous because you're going to be playing with low health but you're going to be able to do a outrageous amount of damage and the cool thing about berserk is that um uh, most people are going to be fighting over cover you can kind of kind of cheese the fact that you're at a distance if you feel safe and keep your armor low and try to exchange with them and you're going to do so much damage that you're going to burst through them and it, it's it's literally insane in Occupy Dark Zone. In Normalize it's still really really good, but in Occupy Dark Zone which is a lot of people are you know worried about cuz that's the true I guess the true test of your build, it does work. So, um hopefully you guys enjoy man. I, I don't know really much else, like much else to say about it. It's clear coat clear um i know people were asking when they were watching me pvp what i was using and this is pretty much it but make sure you do 
if you want the absolute best version of mine, which is going to be AR based, you have to at least spec into your survivalist skill. You're cheesing yourself if you're losing that 15% damage, dude. I promise you. Um, I believe there's another, I, I don't know which one. I think it's the sharpshooter. The sharpshooter gets AR damage too. I'm not sure. I don't have it fully unlocked, but um, make sure you choose one of those. Uh, Demolitionist, I, I, I will go with something different. I will go with like SMG or something if I were you guys because... Uh, you, that that raw fifteen percent damage is huge, um, and it's across the board. It's it's the best buff for ARs you can get right now. So that's just pretty much it. So I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Let me know what y'all think. If you guys enjoyed the gameplay, let me know. Are you guys enjoying the DZ? Uh, what, what what tweaks would you do to this build? Like I said, I haven't fully optimized it because I don't want to waste too much resources because I'm making so many builds. I'm kind of just theory crafting here and working with what I have. But this build definitely slaps. This is not like. Just because I haven't rolled um, other talents on it does not mean it's not going to put in work. You saw in the clips, uh, it works in Conflict. It works in the DZ especially. Um, and it does put in crazy amounts of damage when you are in the situations that proc both of these. So basically, if you, if you lose, let's say you lose 90% of your armor. Look how much crit chance you're getting based off of that, dude. Plus the fact you're getting the raw weapon damage of Berserk. So you're, if you hit crits and you have a crit chance build, man... Pfft, gonna be nuts so love y'all appreciate y'all let me know what y'all think about the builds man uh and like i said i'm real curious to your guys's opinions on how you would tweak this build and what would you run it with especially this combination this one two powerful dps combination so thank y'all so much for stopping by man i love y'all appreciate y'all your boy is out